Okay, so many of you are interested in uh, setting up intervention groups in Homeroom this year. So let me help you see how easy this is. As you can see, whenever I start Homeroom, I always close all my widgets, my assessment widget, my CAA, student groups, risk indicators, student learning. If you are a middle or a elementary uh, school, you won't need CAA, CIA, that's all graduation uh, requirement stuff. So I want to set up a set of uh, a student group. And so I'd like to set it up. Let's choose third grade. Um, so I'm going to go start with my assessments. And I'm going to choose a student group. Now, if you're in a building, you won't need to worry about <coughs> choosing a school. So let me just choose Evergreen Flex Academy. That's not good. Why am I not? Demonstration mode. Oh. 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 So, let me choose a different group. Crestline. And let me choose Crestline third graders. And then let me choose the assessments. Let's just have reading groups. So now what I have is through this, there are more than tw 10 of 12 assessments in this set are being displayed because there's more than those. But that's fine. I can see all of my assessments across the board. All right. First thing I want to do is sort it by the most relevant assessment to me. And that would be the grade two tri three EIRA. Because that one is the one that's the most recent assessment. Next, I want to have grade two tri three, but see I have grade one. So I want to go up here to advanced ordering and sorting. I want to get them with my most at risk kids with the most relevant assessment first. So we're going to start with EIR grade 2, try 3. We should probably have grade 2, try 2 next. So I'll move it over there. Then I want grade 2, try 1. Move it over there. And then I'll probably want grade, oh wait, grade 2, try 1. Oh, DRA grade 2, try 2. Well, that would be okay. Uh, EII grade 2, try 2, put that there, EII grade 2, try 1, put that there, so now I really, the rest of them, fine, I'll leave them like that, but really I have a good set of assessments on these students to see which ones should receive intervention. So I'll go to AS, ASC, that is ascending order because I want the, mo the lowest scores at the top because the highest scores, they'll just receive core instruction and should be fine. So I'm going to hit done. And what this will end up doing is giving me my most at risk kids. Now you can see some of the kids didn't get grade two try, ERA grade two try two, but they got DRA grade two try two. So you can see all the students, how they're set up. Okay. So now I have my set of kids set up, and I can see which kids obviously need intervention. So in this, I will click here, 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 click here. I'm going to say all these kids. And this would be really great for a team, your intervention team, folks to go through this process and look at each student as I do that. Now, I can get down here to the sum risk and then examine them. And I might say, well, this student seems, eh, let's not service that kid yet. Ah, uh, they were proficient, proficient. But this one wasn't. So I'll click on this one. Uh, this one, I'll probably click on. This one, let's service them. And we'll say these two were fine in the DRA 2, there are some risks, so we're not going to serve them. Okay, so now I have set my whole set of kids. Well, right now then, I would click on this, and then through that, 
once I've clicked on the, the, the most dominant score that I want to, 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 to be used, I am going to click on the plus. Once I click on this plus, a current student selected, that tells me 19 students in grade 3 are going to get intervention. So we're going to assign those in just a second. This is how I, I assign my intervention groups. Click on that. Once I've done that, then I can say create new group. And I can type this in grade 3 reading interview. Let's say supplemental. Okay. So now I would just click that create and that group is created. Okay. I won't hit that because I'm not sure that this is actually really in uh, demonstration mode. Okay, so I've made my group. I'll show you what happens when I make that group. So now that I've made that group, if I, once I close this box, I go down to student groups, and once I've made that group and say submit, it is a group made. And you can see these are groups made. These are high-risk reading groups, and I believe these are high-risk reading grade one, and they are um, a group that I made for another school, and you can see those. And then, once I've done that, if I look at one of those kids, well, I think that's where I'll leave it. So make your groups, and then I'll show you the next lesson on how to do that. How to do the next piece, sorry.